All right, are you ready for our news article today? Today is a really interesting article about birds and bird watching. It's called The Great Backyard Bird Count. Let's read it. Many people enjoy watching birds. Soon people will count birds too. The Great Backyard Bird Count is February 12th through the 15th. People around Earth will count birds on these days. The Great Backyard Bird Count helps some scientists. These scientists study birds. Scientists study where different kinds of birds are. Some kinds of birds live in many places. And some kinds of birds live in only a few places. So some birds have lots of homes, they go many different places, and other birds only live in a few places. Some birds migrate. To migrate means to fly to warmer places for winter. Scientists want to know when birds migrate. They want to know where birds migrate. Scientists look for changes in how birds migrate. So scientists have a lot of questions about birds and how and where and when they migrate. So scientists ask people to help. People can help during the great backyard bird count. The bird count is each February. Many bird watchers do the bird count, but anyone can do the bird count. You don't have to be a bird watcher. You can just be a regular person. People sign up on the bird count website. People identify birds to do the bird count. They count how many of each bird they see. Each kind of bird looks different. Birds can be different sizes and colors. There are so many different kinds of birds. Let's talk about what kinds of birds there are. There are robins, cardinals, blue jays, sparrows, and doves. People can count anywhere. People can count in yards, in parks, forests, fields, and more places. People get checklists from the bird count website. They count birds for at least 15 minutes. Do you think that's a long time or a short time? 15 minutes is not very long. It's kind of a short time. People write the numbers of birds onto the checklist. They upload the numbers onto the bird count website. Then scientists see the numbers. So the people are looking for the birds. They're writing down how many numbers of birds there are of each kind. And then they type it into their computer and it goes up on the bird count website. And then that's when the scientists can see the numbers. The numbers can help scientists learn about birds. They help scientists learn where the birds are. People doing the bird count can learn about birds too. They can learn to identify birds. Would you like to do the great backyard bird count? Would you like to do that? I think I would. Bird watchers like watching birds. Many bird watchers do the great backyard bird count. Bird watchers may use binoculars to look for birds. Can you pretend like you have your binoculars? What kind of bird do you see? When you use binoculars, it makes things look closer. They may use books to identify birds. So I have a book. This is a Birds of Montana book, and I use it to figure out what kind of bird I am looking at. Like this one is called the Varied Thresh. See that orange bird, orange and black? So these books can help us know what kind of bird we're looking at. 
bird watchers may learn to identify bird sounds too. People around Earth do the great backyard bird count. Earth is a planet. Birds live all around Earth. And you live on Earth too. Birds live in rainforests, deserts, fields, swamps, and more places. Okay, this is our recipe for bird seed snack bites. Let's see, what do we need for our recipe? It looks like we need half of a cup of sunflower seeds, one cup of oatmeal, half of a cup of ground flaxseed, half of a cup of mini dark chocolate chips, half of a cup of almond butter, half of a cup of honey, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one fourth of a teaspoon of salt, a large bowl, and a spoon. And actually, I think I have the ingredients for this recipe. The only thing is, instead of sunflower kernels, I'm going to use pumpkin seeds because they don't have sunflower kernels. And instead of almond butter, I'm going to use peanut butter. Okay, so I'm going to take you to my kitchen and we will make it together. Okay, welcome to my kitchen. Here we are. Let me show you the ingredients. You can see I've got my honey and my chocolate chips. I've got my flax seed and my pumpkin seed and my oats. I have peanut butter and I have salt and I have some vanilla flavoring. And I think that's all I need. Oh, I have a large bowl and a spoon. Okay, shall we make it together? I've never done this before, so this will be fun. Fun to try. All right, let's see if I can balance you over here. All right, I hope that's not too uncomfortable. Okay, we're gonna start with um, my oatmeal. I need half of a cup of oatmeal. I'm gonna pour my cup in here. No, a whole cup of oatmeal. I'm going to pour it into my bowl. Okay. Put that part. It says to put the sunflower kernels and the oatmeal together. Remember, I don't have sunflower kernels, but I have pumpkin seeds. So I'm going to pour my pumpkin seeds into my bowl. All right, the next part is I'm going to put my chocolate chips. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so good. I'm going to stir all of that together. So I'm stirring my pumpkin seeds, my oatmeal, and then it also says to put your flax seed, your crushed flax seed in there. So I'm gonna pour that in there, stir all that up together. Then it says to put your almond butter, honey, and vanilla extract and salt into a bowl. Okay, so instead of almond butter, I have peanut butter. So let's see, let's grate my peanut butter into this bowl here. All right. And the next part is I'm gonna put my honey in here. See if I can scrape my honey out. Honey is a little bit sticky, so sometimes it's hard to scrape out. So I'm mixing up my honey and my peanut butter. Let's see. And then it says I need a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, so that's my vanilla. This is the, the V for vanilla. Vanilla flavor. Teaspoon. My spoon is stuck. Okay, got it. So a teaspoon of vanilla. Here we go. And salt. How much salt? A fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. All right, so we're going to mix those ingredients up together. Do you want to see what it looks like? Can you see that? 
kind of looks gross, doesn't it? Doesn't look really good. And we're going to mix that up together. And then it says put the, let's see, we're going to mix those together. So I have two bowls, one with my sweet sticky stuff and then one with my dry ingredients. And I'm going to pour my sweet sticky stuff into my dry ingredients and then mix that up together. This is bird seed snack bites. Mix it, mix it, mix it till it all sticks together. Kind of like dough. I hope you can make this at home too. I don't want to eat this all by myself. Hopefully you're making some too. I'm gonna mix it all up. Mix and mix and mix. Oh, a lot of mixing. Don't give up though. It's gotta be just right. All of it's gotta stick together. All right. Okay. The next part it says to refrigerate it for 30 minutes. So let me show you what it looks like right here. Can you see that? We're going to, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator and, and then I'm going to make it into little balls and then it'll be time to eat it. Okay. Thanks for doing that with me. I'll, I'll tell you how they turned out tomorrow morning. Okay. Time for our jokes. Are you ready? Knock, knock. Who's there? Bird. Bird who? Bird, it's cold outside. Ha ha ha. <laughs> That's funny. Bird, it sounds like burr. You know, when it's cold outside and you say burr. Bird, it's cold outside. It's all about birds today. Okay, this person says, I have a joke. Tell me, what do you give a sick bird? I don't know. What? A tweet mint. <laughs> tweet mint. Because tweet is the sound that birds make. They go tweet, tweet. And a treatment is what a doctor gives you to help you get better. So that's a funny joke. You can tell that one to your mom or your dad. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. We're going to choose the pictures about the great backyard bird count. So whatever we talked about. That's, um, if we recognize that picture, we're going to circle it, okay? All right, in the backyard, great backyard bird count, did we talk about numbers? Yes, we talked about numbers. Because remember, we are counting how many birds we see, the people who are counting the birds are. Website, did we talk about website? Yes, we did. The bird watchers they uh, put how many birds they found on the website. Migrate. Did we talk about migrating? Yes. Birds migrate. Snowman. No, we didn't talk about snowman. Identify. You see that picture? He's looking at a bird flying. He's identifying what kind of bird it is. So we did talk about that. Identify means to try to figure out what kind it is. Okay, storm. No, we didn't talk about storm. Earth. Yes, we talked about Earth. Earth is a planet that all the birds live on, and you live on that planet, and I live on that planet. Learn. Did we talk about learning? Mm, no. Lamp. Did we talk about lamps? No. Count. One, two, three. Did we talk about counting? Yes, we did. Because the bird watchers are counting how many birds they can find on the great bird watch day. Yard. Did we talk about yard? Yes, because some birds live in a yard. In people's yards. Bird. Did we talk about bird? Yes, we did. The circle bird. This whole article is about birds. 
upload. Did we talk about uploading? Yes, we did. Remember the bird watchers, they count how many birds they can find in 15 minutes and then they upload those numbers onto the bird watching website. Scientists. Did we talk about scientists? Yes. The people who count birds, they help the scientists because the scientists have lots of questions about where and how and when the birds migrate. Grocery store. Did we talk about grocery store? No. Kinds. Did we talk about kinds? Yes, the different kinds of birds there are. We talked about kinds. So we can circle kinds. Good job. All right, let's keep going. What is the paper about? This time let's underline it, the right answer. Is the paper about Inauguration Day, Great Backyard Bird Count, or the Super Bowl? Mm, the Great Backyard Bird Count, that's what it's about. Who identify birds to do the Great Backyard Bird Count? Fairies, people, or wizards? You guys know the answer to that one. Not fairies and not wizards, people do, right? People identify birds to do the Great Backyard Bird Count. Where do people count birds? On the earth, on the sun, or on the moon? On the earth, on the sun, or on the moon? On the earth, that's right. Who does the Great Backyard Bird Count help? Does it help scientists, lawyers, or nurses? Who does it help? Who has lots of questions about how birds migrate? Scientists do. It helps the scientists. When is the Great Backyard Bird Count? When is it? Is it in March, in April, or February? When is the Great Backyard Bird Count? It is in February. That's this month. Remember, this month is February. What means to fly to warmer places for winter? Identify, study, or migrate? Do you remember what word means to, to fly to warmer places? to winter? Migrate does. All right. Good job, boys and girls. Thanks for listening today and helping me make my snack. I hope you get a chance to make it too. Talk to you later. Bye.